Good morning, student. Who all are here? So today we discuss about endurance. So what is endurance? So what is the advantage of it? What endurance? Disadvantage of endurance? So endurance is all a basically endurance is directly or indirectly of high performance. Endurance is usually measured by the number of repetition or through distance run or time in fact. It is the ability of the body to continue, especially designed up. Despite the fatigue, stress, or other adverse conditions, so endurance means the ability to stay or um, exercise for a long time without being at time. So endurance makes the heart stronger and keeps blood pressure under control. That is amazingly important. Now we discuss about uh, according to free online dictionary, endurance is an act, quality, or power to withstand any hardship or stress. It is a continuous state. According to Mary, uh, endurance is the ability to deal with a pain or suffering that uh, for a continuous for a long time. So further, it says endurance is the ability of withstanding hardship for a prolonged period. So endurance is the ability to stay a continued activity. This last definition, so we can say that endurance is the ability of the body to work for a long time without getting fatigued. That's the basic meaning of endurance. Now we we'll discuss about type of endurance. First one we we'll discuss about short term endurance, anaerobic endurance, muscular endurance. The short term endurance is needed in sports where the movement is only for a short durations and the intensity is very fast. So as energy required to carry out the task is not derived in the presence of oxygen and the energy start, um, stored in muscles has to be used in short term endurance. It is also known as a muscular endurance basically. A good example of uh, aerobic endurance are like 100 meter, 200 meter, 400 meter, changing in some many cocoa exercises. So these are example of short term endurance. Now we we'll discuss about second point on here. Long term endurance, it is required in those sports activity where the movement is for a longer duration and intensity is low. In short term intensity is very fast, in here is long term intensity is very slow. As energy required to came out the task in drive uh, in the presence of oxygen, it is also known as a cardiovascular endurance. So basically because cardiorespiratory system has to be supplied the blood and oxygen to the work uh, muscles. So that's it. These are pro, uh, required for a long uh, time, long term distance races, road races, marathon races, cross country races. We use and need a long term endurance. Now we discuss about activity and we discuss about the four point on the SP, short term endurance, middle term endurance and long term endurance. Now we discuss about first one on here, speed endurance. So speed endurance is ability to resist fatigue in activity, losing up to 45 seconds. So basically 400 meter sprint is a more suitable example of speed endurance. Okay, 400 meter. The speed endurance is mainly dependent on the power and capacity of the energy production. That is the most important speed endurance. Second, we discuss about the short term endurance. The endurance value is needed for cyclic activity lasting from about 45 seconds to 2 minutes. Uh, it is example of 800 meter of races is be a good example of this. Such activity resulting in a high amount of lactic acid and concentrate the muscle in blood. That's why we need a short term endurance. Third one is about middle endurance. So in the middle term is needed for us uh, such sports activity which will last from 2 minutes to uh, basically a minute. It should also depend on strength, endurance and spin endurance. It is basically the good example of middle term endurance is 1500 meter of so this is a good example of this is the last one, uh, long term endurance, long term endurance basically are required for activities are last for more than 11 minutes, more than 11 minutes activities like 5000 meter, 10,000 meter, cross countries or other uh, long races exercises are long term endurance exercise of example of long term. Now we discuss about method of developing uh, endurance, uh, how to be complete, first one discuss about continuous uh, training method. It is the best method to develop endurance in all activity. This form of training also known as a long or slow distance. Uh, so in this method, this intensity is kept slow and heart rate maximum 140 to 160 beat per minute in which is <coughs> continuous uh, training method. So it's, uh, continuous training method involves working for a long period of time without uh, any rest or break. So if we discuss about advantage of this training, it 
it's a quite a, a very less acute pain or it is a good for cardiovascular respiratory system if it is just about disadvantages of this it can be sometimes boring but it does not improve sprinting skills in this activity second point which is about uh, interval training method and last one is about 40 leg training or split training first one is about interval training interval training means this is a method in uh, enable to improve the work load by heavy bouts of fast running with recovery period of very slow like jogging so this method uh, provides a break and rest between period of any very hard exercise or rest that is a mean basically uh, uh, interval training so what is the advantage of it it increase endurance overall fitness and level of performance patience of lead will be increased in this is so if it is about uh, disadvantage of this training it basically increase chances of injuries in this activity now we discuss about last part of here Forty leg training or speedy training. So in last training, forty leg training or speedy training, the term is commonly derived from Swedish, which is means speedy training. Speedy training, speedy training. Okay. So this training method blends continuous training with interval training. So in this method, athlete can vary or very spread or as per the requirement. Speed will be more increased in this training or forty leg training. So this is a basic thing of the real comfort of sports person. So athlete run for a, a set period of time with faster, slower, and sometimes intermediate uh, speed runs. Normally, it is target only for a cover the total distance within this. If in the discuss about continuous, the heart rate will be very less. But if this is about speed running, the maximum heart rate 180, 170, 1 depend on sports person category of heart rate. So advantage of this training. The suitable for all level of athlete, good athletes. Or again, keep the heart rate up and gives a good cardiovascular workout. More important in advantage of cardio training, good to become a better sprinter and better long distance runner. Use of this training, which one is particular training. If we discuss about disadvantage of this training, lack of proper training increase the pace, then lowering it back down can create some cramps in your body, lower, lower body cramps, upper body cramps. Really. Sometimes it will be come in this exercise. Okay, so in this training, we will discuss about all the training methods for a sports person. So, thank you so much. In next lecture, we will discuss about another topic.